Hey, what's up? Welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. Thank you so much for joining us today. I don't know what the weather is like where you are right now, but as I record this, New York City is in a polar vortex and it's about 23 degrees outside. So pretty cold. Sometimes when it's cold out, I like to warm up with a hot cocktail. I'll leave a uh, link at the end of this video to some of my favorite hot toddy recipes. But sometimes when it's cold, I like to just ignore the fact that it's really cold and warm up with a tropical cocktail. Take an instant vacation to somewhere where it's much warmer. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are gonna be making the Pit Viper, which was created by bartender Eric Castro. Now, I've actually never made this cocktail before, but again, it's called the Pit Viper. So a uh, pretty badass name. I'm hoping for a pretty badass drink. I have some pretty high expectations going into this video. Let's see if the Pit Viper can meet that. Okay, this is a shaken drink, so let's go ahead and get out our shaker set. First up in our quest for a badass drink is half an ounce of real maple syrup. Next is half an ounce of an Amaro. Eric's recipe doesn't specify which, so I'm going with Averna. I didn't want something that was gonna take over and dominate the drink, but you can feel free to experiment here. Use whatever you have on hand. We're following that with three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. I used ruby red grapefruit, but you can use whatever type you want. Next is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, please. And last is two ounces of rye whiskey. I'm going with Rittenhouse. Bourbon would also do in a pinch here if you don't have any rye, but if you don't have any rye, you should probably go out and get some. All right, there we have it, the Pit Viper. Let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I love that. Let's try to pick out some flavor notes if we can. Right off the bat, you get the maple sweetness, you get the tartness from the grapefruit and the lime juice, um, but underneath of it all, you get kind of the spicy herbal notes from the whiskey and the Amaro. I just really like this drink. It's a tropical sipper that kind of has some of those wintry fall notes that you would expect. And maybe maybe you're looking for it this time of year. This is honestly, first time, I've had, first time I'm having this one, love it. Definitely gonna make it again. Uh, and I highly recommend that you make it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. And why don't you let me know down in the comments what you have been drinking during this long, cold winter. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers. Oh, it's so good.